As an SAT tutor, questions like this are the, the kind of like decider questions. They tell me a lot about a student and how they're going to behave when things get really, really hard and, and how they're dealing with weird situations. Uh, this question, there's two paths you can basically take. Some of you are going to look at this and be like, oh, I can calculate the slope of this line. I'm going to take 0, 09 and 117 and put those into my slope formula and calculate the slope. And that's correct. You can do that. But the slope formula is inherently kind of risky. It's got lots of negatives, there's fractions, things have to go in very particular places. And if you mess that up, then that's it. You're gonna get the question wrong. This question, since it's multiple choice, maybe you know you kind of realize your error. But like my first instinct here is just to plug points into equations, right? Especially because the first point is so easy, zero, nine, that means all the X's are gonna get wiped out. Meaning B and C are done without me even having a second thought because I need it to be zero plus nine basically and that is not gonna happen in B and C, right? So now instead of thinking about the slope, I'm just plugging the number one in for X and seeing what happens. Well, one eighth of one plus nine, I wouldn't even need to write this down, I can just in my head realize that's gonna be a messy number, right? One eighth times one is still one eighth. So I'm not gonna get rid of the fraction and get to 17. So then, okay, eight times one plus nine, yeah, eight plus nine is 17, done. No scratch work necessary, no issues with slopes and negatives and anything like that. So again, it, it doesn't make a huge difference on this question, okay? This question is not particularly difficult, but it tells me a lot about what you're gonna do when things get really weird and how your brain decides how to solve questions. If you're thinking about slope here, then you are thinking about like algebra, textbook ways of solving questions. And that's gonna get you in trouble. It's gonna get you in trouble because they will give you non-textbook questions later on in the module. And if your instinct is to still go by what your math teacher taught you and use all these formulas and all this stuff, you might get stuck or you might make mistakes that are totally preventable. So you've gotta be able to be flexible and plug points into equations, remember, is our main math strategy. So you're looking for opportunities to use that everywhere because you wanna strengthen that muscle so that it's ready to go when you really, really need it. And this is a question where you could solve it other ways, you could use Desmos if you really want, but gosh, you really want to have that instinct for like, oh, I got points, I got equations, let me plug them in, and that means you're going to be ready to go when things get really hard later on.